Welcome back to my channel, Real Life DJ. JP here, and in this video, I'm looking at the increased cracking down and increased detection technology of YouTube to prevent copyright music being used in videos. And is that killing the DJ gig vlog as we know it? The fact is that YouTube has been cracking down on the use of copyright music, ruining DJ gig vlogs as we know them. Any DJs that produce and publish DJ gig vlogs will know the pain of uploading a finished and fully edited video only to get notifications that the video has been blocked in certain territories due to copyright or a claim that has been made against the video by the copyright owner and they'll be taking in 100% of the revenue although they only had a few seconds of content. For anyone who follows my channel will know that I've stopped putting the music in the gig vlog videos. That was the original footage and instead that I either took over that part of the video or I put a royalty free music clip in, one that I'm allowed to use and don't have to pay for. I have noticed over the past few months that this clamp down on YouTube on copyright music use is affecting many of the world's leading DJ gig vlog channels such as DJ Barr and DJ Rick Webb. Barr was actually issued a copyright strike recently and that means if he gets three of these copyright strikes then YouTube will switch off his channel full stop. Also DJ Rick Webb has mentioned about the reduced amount of time he can put music in before it's detected. I reached out to Rick Webb a few weeks back and asked how he was able to get so much music in his gig vlogs and he said that he keeps them under six seconds for each clip. Personally I found that in the UK I was getting blocked well below six seconds. Maybe there's regional differences. Unfortunately I don't see that there will be a solution to this YouTube copyright problem anytime soon and apart from not using the original music I do not believe there is another way around this. DJ Funky Mike produced a video recently about how to mask the music and trick the YouTube algorithm so it believes the music is different, but that I think is a risky option, one I'm not prepared to take for my own channel personally. I will put a link to his video up there and in the description so you can take a look and see what you think. I have recently had messages and comments from people asking me why I was not including the music in my videos and that they felt the gig vlogs was not as good or it detracted from the video. I agree and I would love to include the original music but it's out of my control. How do you feel about this? Is this is the dancing music a part essential? From my viewing figures a lot of you switch off at that point or only watch it for a few seconds. It'd be interesting for your thoughts about this and if you're going to watch this new format that I'm producing? Or do you have any alternative idea how, how I could overcome the issue? Don't forget to uh, like the video if you've not done so already. Share to your social media of choice. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It's really appreciated. An extra thank you to everybody who subscribed. You know who you are. And don't forget, if you're not subscribed yet, then now is the time to do so and hit that bell. So next time you get notified next time one of my videos goes live. Till the next video. JP out.